The Insight in High Definition starts right now. Now, Zac Efron shirtless and showing his abs. Did we grab your attention yet? Hold on, because The Insider has your first look from behind the scenes of his next big movie, 17 Again. Would you do anything over if you could think about being 17 again? I made lots of mistakes in high school, several embarrassing moments. Cue the yearbook photos. That's me. My hair's bleached. How old were you in the shot? I look like, what, 13? What about this shot? I think I look terrified by the lady behind the camera. But I dressed up, see, I put the collared yeah, shirt on under the nice. t-shirt. But Zach's shirt comes off in his new film. Freaking me out! He's a married dad who becomes 17 again. Hey, Mom, this is Mark. Wow. You look just like my husband. So weird. He's weird. His makeout scene with Leslie Mann left her kids a little jealous. His daughter licked your face after I kissed Zach. Licked my face. Wow. But she just wanted to like touch me after I was touched by him. He's nice. He starred in three high school musicals, but what was Zach really like as a teen? Who was your prom date? A girl that I liked in high school. It's nice going to proms where you don't know anybody because you can just be a total idiot. Like who's that guy dancing in the circle? Oh man. I used to drive my mom's minivan. It was purple. What was your wardrobe like? Me and my friends started wearing bow ties with t-shirts for a while, just for the heck of it. Were you cool or nerd? I was probably the coolest of the nerds. Next for Zach, no singing and dancing. He's looking to play a cemetery caretaker who talks to the dead and the death and life of Charlie St. Cloud. Zach's in negotiations right now, so we'll wait and see. The Black Eyed Peas will be heating up the stage at the 2009 Teen Choice Awards later this summer, and The Insider has your front row seats. The group will perform their newest single, I Got a Feeling, from their number one album, The End. The Jonas Brothers will be hosting the show and will shower celebrities with dozens of surfboard trophies in film, TV, music, sports, and fashion categories. The Grammy-nominated teen trio may sail away with a few of their own surfboards. They have nine nominations. Also topping the list for the most nominations, Twilight received an impressive 12 nominations, Miley Cyrus, High School Musical 3, Senior Year, and Gossip Girl each received 10 nominations. American Idol, it received 7. And you can vote for your favorite celebrity nominees by going to TeenChoiceAwards.com and make sure to tune in on Monday, August 10th to catch all the action. It's time now for the Insider 5. Our daily Hollywood countdown tonight, the top five female celebrity power players. We're teaming up with Forbes Woman to reveal who's breaking the bank in the middle of the recession. At number five, Halle Berry on the Forbes Woman Savvy Celebrity Business Woman list. Halle breaking in the business. Life is good. Forbeswoman.com's Kiri Blakely helping us breaking down the stars, breaking the bank. While the Dow drops, as the face of Revlon, Halle earns an estimated $1.5 million a year. And in 2008, the Oscar winner signed another Bonanza deal. Halle Berry made a deal last year with Cody for her own line of perfumes and body products. She probably made about $350,000 up front, but then she makes 5% of the wholesale revenue, and that could be millions. Number four, Gwyneth Paltrow pumping up during hard times with her new lifestyle website, Goop. Plus, the actress ate her way through the Mediterranean for the PBS series Spain on the Road Again with chef Mario Batali. I'm a very good and big eater, but I exercise to make up for it. The blonde beauty also socking the economic slump by reportedly opening her own elite gym in Manhattan. At number three, newly minted superstar and style icon Anne Hathaway. While banks go broke, the Oscar-nominated star is the shining face for a major cosmetics brand. In this case, Anne Hathaway inked it with Lancome, and she's the face of their Manifique fragrance. She'll probably earn about $2 million a year from that. At number two, Jessica Simpson. Just call her Simpson-y. The blonde shells business savvy and retail empire, the Jessica Simpson collection, netting her a staggering fortune and fun commercials for Macy's. Last year, it took in $300 million wholesale. 